Hey everyone, this is Dan Bell, and welcome to the cutting room floor. This is episode number 29, and on this episode we're going to be talking about the creepy, deserty, Desert. military base, or whatever it is. I am joined by my cohort, Will Kripinski. You can follow Will on Twitter at Zombie Trill. Yes. And my or YouTube channel. YouTube channel is Will Kripinski. K-R-U-P-I-N-S-K-Y. There's also a link in the description. And you can follow me on Twitter as well at This Is Dan Bell. Or find me on Facebook. Or Instagram. All the great social media apps. So, here we are. This shot here was done in a small ghost town called Cisco. Yes. Which is in Utah. And, and somebody might be living there? No, nobody. No, no nobody. <laughs> that lives house there. looks like no, they, It's weird because when we went there, it, somebody... I had been to Cisco years ago. Like maybe f- three or four years ago. I actually have a video of it on this channel. You can go back into my into the depths of the channel and find the old video that I shot there. Um, boy, these trailers were creepy. Yeah, they were. Oof. And you know what's weird? What I noticed um, in the one trailer, not this one, but the next one, it looks like there's somebody sitting inside of the trailer. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Look, wait, you'll see here in a minute. When we drive past and you look in the window, look, doesn't look like somebody's oh, sitting yeah. there with a hoodie on. <laughs> <laughs> there was probably somebody sitting there. Somebody inside the gross trailer. Um, and the thing is, I would have went into those trailers, but I was too afraid of desert critters yeah. and being out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, they were very demolished, too. Like, I don't, Could you really walk around in there? I'm sure you could. I mean, I've been in worse. Yeah. Trust me. Um, I love that shot there, the mountain with the wind blowing into the desert base we yeah go. So, so that was cisco utah and i went there years ago and um there was a lot more buildings this time it looked a little like they cleaned it up a little bit and torn down a bunch of uh buildings i don't know who is doing it or why because the town yeah, is like it's, doesn't make just, sense. it's a dump it's like a junkyard why would you spend money tearing things down? I don't know that. <laughs> Who knows? Um, in the beginning of the video, you see Goldfield, Nevada, which w- was on the television show um, Ghost Adventures. And the Goldfield Hotel, they filmed in there. Now, I've never seen that show so i don't know what uh i have heard that um they were viciously attacked by spirits oh they were (laughs) 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 and we were very fortunate that when we were walking around the building that we were also that we were not attacked by these vicious vengeful spirits (laughs) somehow we survived the glass kept them out. Kept them uh, yeah, inside. the glass, the glass, and the bricks keep them trapped inside. It's like Beetlejuice if they come, <laughs> if the ghosts come outside that giant sand monster. Yeah. <laughs> sandworms. Yeah, we're safe outside from the sandworms. <laughs> um. Anyway, uh, and to get in there, you have to go ka-ching, 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 and they let oh, you come yes. in. <laughs> now, lots and they, lots of now, money. They don't even let you do that. Uh, we, we talked to a lady. When, I, when we went to Goldfield, there's a lot of abandoned stuff, and it, Goldfield has a great history as an Old West town. I would love to include the Goldfield Hotel in the Dead Motel series. Um, the problem is, is that... We spoke to a lady across the street who owns a... Like a general store, kind of? It's a general store. A candy store? store? I don't Something know what like it was. Uh, and we said, we were like, how do we get in there? And she said, uh, well, you can't. She's like, they've had groups offer thousands of dollars to go in that place to look for ghosts. And the guy who owns it, you know, that he won't let anybody in there because of insurance, per- insurance uh, 
I guess his insurance will not allow it. Yeah. So, um, which is understandable, but I would love to include that, that hotel in the dead motel series. Oh yeah. It would be great. I'd like to do another dead motel series episode. It's just, it's hard finding robust hotels that have all the like stuff that I like. Um, I've done most of them, so <laughs> there's not many of them to really do. Although I would like to get into Buck Hills. Buck Hills, that would be Pennsylvania. fantastic. That looked so amazing. That's a possibility in the future. I don't know yet. We'll see. I mean, everything else around there you've done. I <laughs> literally get so many people who contact me about that hotel, and like they're like... I One lady... Um, contacted me recently... And she went into the building. She actually got in? Yeah, she went in. I think they were staying there. Because around the Buck Hills, the old Buck Hills... Uh, um, oh, there's still some inn. resorts that are... There, the yeah. resort is surrounding it. There, you know, there's really nice uh, vacation homes. So I think she was staying right next to it, and she just walked in. You know, I think they put a fence up around it now but uh oh and it's right next to uh wasn't it like a horse riding thing on the side yeah 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 yeah. yeah. trust me we've scoped it out <laughs> um so here we are in this building i don't know what these buildings were but uh well we definitely know they they were storage of some kind well well the other ones were storage do we <laughs> I, I don't really, I don't know. I mean, it could be military, maybe not, I'm not sure. But it will always remain a mystery. They're really out in the middle of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Um, and this was probably midnight, one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. It really doesn't seem like people <laughs> come here. <laughs> Remember the hotel that we stayed at near here? Well, it wasn't too near. It was actually pretty far away, but uh-huh. we stayed here at this uh, hotel that our room had a heart-shaped <laughs> jacuzzi. <laughs> the heart-shaped jacuzzi but tub the, room. It was nice, though. It was pretty the awesome. The jacuzzi was so nice. It was like very powerful bubbles. <laughs> yeah. And it like shook the floor. <laughs> It was it was pretty crazy. <laughs> it's it was perfect. It, feel, it, <laughs> it was perfect. It fuels our gay rumors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dan and Will were in a heart shaped tub room. What does that mean? <laughs> Just keep fueling the gay rumors. <laughs> um. So we um. Oh, by the way, this black light. People ask why. I have a black light and it's you can find scorpions with it and plus i use it in the motel rooms oh yeah that we stay at to check for semen or anything else that's on the any disgusting shit after that, that room, room we stayed at in texas if you go to my film it channel and look up the roach infested econo lodge <laughs> yeah. room in rockport if you don't like roaches don't watch that video. that was that was a disgrace and after that i started checking rooms with black lights and stuff. Is that really fair, though, to, like, check a room with black lights? I guess it is. I mean, you should. Who wants to lay on People are semen? It's just so dirty. These these hotels, they need to do it. You know what? You can be an economy hotel, but at least keep your rooms clean. Like, you don't have to be economy on your on your um, housekeeping. Like, keep the rooms clean. Well, it's just insane that they gave us that room to begin oh, with. It's- <laughs> I mean, it made international news. Hey. So, I mean, I, I was, um... And then, it, there was a guy in there for a month. <laughs> like, that was their mm-hmm. explanation. Yeah, I think a guy just moved out of there. He was there for a month. I'm like, okay, well, I don't care. <laughs> why does, it shouldn't be dirty. Why I don't care I, if someone's been there a month. And the thing is, when we got in there, we set everything up. And then Will, yeah. Will said, what are those bugs over on that table? And I immediately, I was like, oh my God. And I turn around and there's roaches all over that table where the microwave was. They were literally coming out because they were like hungry. (laughs) But when roaches are crawling around in the daytime, like with the lights on, you, 
that's a big problem. A, yeah, there was definitely an infestation. But that, that was just that was disgusting. I'm sorry, that was one of the worst. I mean, I'm laughing in the video because I just can't believe <laughs> what I'm seeing. But it did give me an idea for something that we might that I'm probably going to be doing. It's a thing with Will and I. Not um, an exciting thing. I'm I'm excited by Are it. Are you? You're the one who bitches about it because you don't want to do it. We'll talk about it later. I don't want to talk about it right now because I want to film a few episodes before we actually <laughs> debut You, you all idea. can start wondering what the hell we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, it's going to be uh, a cringy... Uh, but not in a way that you're, you're going to cringe because you're going to see stuff that's going to literally send shivers up your spine. And mine, too, probably. Yeah, and mine as well, but <laughs> it's all part of the job. Uh-huh. Um, so, yeah, so our, our trip out west, in general, was, uh, I would say, it, w- it wasn't that successful as far as the channels are concerned. Yeah. I mean, I did shoot a lot of film at videos. I still have a lot of film at videos left. Yeah, a lot of side t- but stuff. Side of the road. After the whole killer bee thing and getting attacked by killer bees, <laughs> I was done. It really right? turns you off on wanting to go into other places. Yeah, I, I was like not into ever, that happening ever again. I mean, no. it was so scary. So it really ruined everything <laughs> it really did the mood of the trip went down a and lot just like i mean i almost stepped on a rattlesnake yeah you know, it's hor- so just, much stuff the horrible room i mean there's so much bad things on this trip i like when you saw that tarantula <laughs> oh yeah the tarantula <laughs> remember the beginning of the trip i'm so stupid the beginning of the trip when we went out and we were filming out in the desert we we had just like gotten out to the desert yeah and that centipede yeah the centipede thing? and you <laughs> if that thing it bit me but it i didn't get any venom no if that thing had they that bite from that centipede is like literally like so painful and you have to go to the hospital i think <laughs> you really shouldn't have tried to pick what it up stupid I'm, I mean- <laughs> an idiot. I'm like oh i'll let it crawl my hand and its face is coming at yeah. your oh hand. what a stupid <laughs> It makes my skin crawl. I mean, I had, I am allergic to like a lot of stuff. My skin, like I'm always getting. I mean, I can get a mosquito bite, and within like three oh, days, yeah. it's swollen like a golf ball. Like I literally am allergic to so many things, but I always put myself in situations where I come in contact with things like. That. <laughs> well, your be- your bee stings, you, it, it, they're along you for a while, right? Yeah, they were um, a few weeks. Not that long. It wasn't that long. I, I mean, it was they that were. Long. I was itching really bad for like the first four or five days, and then they started to go down. Mm-hmm. And then remember when we were in Austin, and I like got those bites on me, and my skin just swelled up. I don't know if those were bites With the or pus. Yeah, uh, maybe that yeah. was poison oak or something. It had to be something like that. The pus Man. was too. I don't oh, know. It was horrible. It was disgusting. It was itchy. <laughs> my fucking arm was swollen. I had sw- it was, on my leg. Oh, yeah, it right was everywhere. Thing. It was on my leg. It was swollen up. I and I have I was- no clue what where you got that from. Well, we had went to that motel the night a couple days before. We were at that old motel and we were walking through mm-hmm. the bushes, and that's where I got it from. But we walked through the same bushes. I didn't get any of that. Uh, you and I. I'm <laughs> telling you. I could just be next to a poison oak or poison ivy. I can be... The wind could blow the wrong way, and I get it all over my body. Oh, God. That's just how it is. Here's these two little bats up here. They're so cute. (laughs) They are really cute. They have those long ears. They're just staring at us. So, um, a lot of people were really upset that I... Look at them. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> a lot of people were upset that I had the the alien in the toilet stall at the end of this video. A, ju- a quote-unquote jump scare. And... I don't know... I, I really don't know how to address it other than I was very surprised by the reaction when the video came out. I didn't think people would... 
respond so uh with much anger yeah people were so <laughs> upset and <clears throat> i mean i can understand why they're upset but at the same time i don't can people not identify what is in good fun and what is you know it wasn't meant to be um it wasn't meant to be something that uh was malicious i mean it was just meant to be fun so i didn't get it but to me that jump scare was great number one it was (laughs) it was well done um I mean, how many people saw the xenomorph coming at him at the end of this video? <laughs> but, I mean, no and also, one. how could you not think, at the very end, when I, my hand is slowly opening a door, that something's not going to happen? You know what I mean? Like, if I were watching that, I'd be like, wait a minute. There's something <laughs> Pause going. this. If stuff like that, you know, upsets you. But I'm not going to blame the audience. I mean, if people were upset, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, we figured um, out they're probably upset because they're falling asleep listening to the video, and all of a sudden, right, right, <laughs> right. keeping them on their toes. But yeah, so I probably won't be doing any more jump scares. They are cheap, but they are fun. <laughs> they are very. It's a. It's a very cheap gimmick. It's just like I was saying, like uh, back in the old days when they would have uh, gags at movie theaters like William Castle if you if you anyone studied like the history of like exploitation or B movies or whatever back in the 60s and 50s there was a film producer named William Castle and he did these gags at, what is that water Oh, I think it's the cat drinking. Oh, the, ki- the ki- <laughs> <laughs> kitty's having a drink of water. I was like, is water running? The uh, house is flooding. Um, so, uh, anyway, he he would rig seats up in theaters with like this thing that would like go <laughs> under the seat. Like when you were watching a film, one of these uh, scary, you know, movies. The, the Tingler? Was that that one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tingler had... And, you would sit in the seat, and then some of the seats were had the tingle underneath. Some of them didn't. You would sit down, and it would go, blah, 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 blah. and then you would jump out of your seat during different scenes of the movies. It would scare the hell out of people, <laughs> and that's kind of the same thing. Yeah, but uh, they've cheapened it on. Yeah, it's online. been used so much. It's been used so much, and they just, you know, it started with that stupid maze thing. You know, where you would, the maze where the, you know, people would, and that really is malicious. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's torture. It's like you, you show these idiots with their children and they're like filming their kids doing this. And then they laugh when their kids like fall out of the chair screaming or crying. I mean, yeah. That's terrible. That's not, why but that's not that what I, that's kid? not what I'm trying to do. You know, I wouldn't do that, but uh, maybe people see it the same way. Yeah, I see it maybe. as just creepy kind of you know, a gag, but, uh, I won't be doing it again. So that's just, uh, and I wouldn't use that over and over again anyway. No, that's when you don't have ideas. Yeah. When you do that I mean, over and over I've and over, it, but once in a while, it's I've done fun. It twice out of a hundred videos has been done twice. I just thought it was appropriate. I love one. <laughs> I do love that, that tumbleweed there with the sinks. Um, toilet? (laughs) 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 Toilet? And here comes... Okay, if you guys... (laughs) The dividing moment. (laughs) Yes. Oh, God. (sighs) Ah. Drip song for this was really great. Oh, it was fucking awesome. I love Drip. Such a talented guy. Um, Team Sash. Hashtag Team Sash. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Will, you want to plug anything? Uh, Yeah, dude. We already plugged my channel and oh, stuff, okay. right? Zombie right. Trill on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that good stuff. All right, guys. Thank you all very much for watching. And we will be back next week.